Okay, I think we're live. Um, welcome to Firebug, everyone. Um, and this is going to be a new series. We're kind of done with planner.now.sh, our old friend. Um, and today I'm looking at Design Systems Repo, which is a project done by Jad uh, over here. And it's fully open source, which is nice. And he was thinking about getting some help to rewrite this to React uh, and then add some more functionality. Uh, that will probably require Firebase. So I thought this is a perfectly good project to do since it needs cloning, and he was open to it. So um, this is a really great looking site, obviously. Um, that's a benefit of being a, de a designer. People respond to how your site looks. Um, and you and you know it's up to us devs to kind of figure out how best to sort of architect the, the thing um, so you can build in the functionality you want. So there's a lot of content here, and the really great thing is, um, it's all available in Markdown. So if you look at the, the the source repo, you can just pull out things like books, and then it's just Markdown here, uh, and blah blah blah. Right. So uh, that seems like it's perfect for um, <clears throat> Gatsby, which is uh, which takes Markdown and then uh, renders static size of React. Um, and as we build this out, we may need uh, more functionality that um, only Firebase provides. So um, I figured that Gatsby would be the best tool for this, um, so I'm going to use it. But we may have to eject from Gatsby at a future point. So we're just going to see how it goes. Like that's that's kind of the whole point of this. We get experience by building, right? Um, so right now I started from a blank repo. This is something that he made uh, for me to sort of play around in. And I just have a readme. Um, and that's what I'm going to use. So. Heading over to my open source directory, and then, um, well, I don't have to get clone, but I can at least get in it, and then uh, yarn in it. Should have just said Y for that. Um, get remote set add origin. Hi. Okay. Um, and we have a package JSON. Good. Okay. So. Now, what we're going to want to do is head over to the Gatsby site. Um, make sure you, you have the command line tool installed. Um, I do already have the command line tool installed. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Gatsby new. Um, and we're just going to start off with the base Gatsby. Um, I waste a lot of time looking at the starters, um, but it's probably going to be too much for what we need, given that we have a, we have a site we want to clone, right? So um, just the minimal Gatsby setup is probably ideal. There we go. Um, so now we have a Gatsby site, uh, and that probably is not what we fully want. So I'm going to move everything out from the Gatsby site into the current folder. Um, and then that should be empty. Boom. Why did Prettier RC not move? All right. Sometimes you have to do things manually. I'm not super great with the command line, so uh, um, hmm. Try to move a prettier RC into the main file. And let's try to move git ignore. I mean, file. So the Gatsby site should be empty, and I can delete it. Sorry for all the. Uh... Okay. All right, now we have a functioning Gatsby site. Oh. I have this weird issue with my um, binding, and whenever I reset, um, I have to, and you didn't see that. Um, here, all right. So this is a Gatsby setup uh, that's kind of pure for us. And I can pull up my terminal over here. And, and now that we have this, we can just call Gatsby develop. I'm just going down the uh, getting started here. And that will set up a Gatsby development environment. 
Wah. Hello. And then I click page two, and it goes back and forth. Uh, this is really big. Am I I'm, I'm zoomed in? OK, so uh, what's great about this right, is that it's rendered from React, but it's a static page. Um, so if you look in a build folder, Oh, well, if, if you build it, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to render just a static page, which you can put on Netlify or any other site. Um, so that's going to be good enough for us. Um, and we have some CSS here and some index.js here. So that's a very good starter for us. Um, and then what we're going to want to do is import some uh, content, because I want content to ingest. Um, let's see if we finished out this thing. Yeah, OK. So all right, we've had, so now we need content to ingest. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is open this up. And uh, I'm just going to call this like data. We have to move that. Okay. Um, and then. I have the, the, the source repo here. I want the articles. Um, I want the books. Yep. Uh, I want design systems. Ooh. Jesus, how much data does he have? Um, I want the talks. Yep. And then the tools. OK. Why not? Um, so that's all the, 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 the raw stuff I need. Um, I probably also want assets and images. Um, I'm not really sure what, what's in here. <clears throat> um, but we'll, we'll deal with that in future episodes. I just want to get uh, the base thing up so you can have a, you can have a look at what we're, what we're making. OK, so um, the next thing you want to you identify is um, you you want to read through this stuff. Um, I'm also just kind of scanning through to to refresh. Um, but the main thing uh, that we want to do here is querying data with GraphQL. Um, so if you as you read all this, um, you know just understand uh, what's going on uh, with Gatsby under the hood. Um, and then GraphQL is where we're going to be able to pull, for example, from Markdown. Um, like here, uh, into into Gatsby. Okay, um, so uh, just kind of looking at this, right? Um, one of the things that we, the other thing that I want to consider when when cloning this thing, is trying to do as little of my own CSS as possible. Um, and it seems from my inspection that um, a lot of it is done within this. Uh, it's, it's compressed here, but uh, a lot of it is done with his own sort of design system um, called um, where is it? It's not the script thing. Where's the style tags? Hmm. Okay, I can't I can't see it. Oh, well, yeah, it's it's like compressed here, but. Um, I do know that it is um, part of his the SAS um, to have the style that's SCSS, um, which is which is mainly just CSS. So I'm going to try and just um, copy this. Um, and hopefully, nothing will blow up at my face. But if it does, we'll deal with it. Um, so style.css, and it's all here. And I'm also going to get um, the other guy, subtract.css. Um, if you didn't know, uh, a lot of SCSS um, is just CSS syntax, and it's just extended it. Uh, but he told me he doesn't use it. so. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and try just using style.css. OK, um, on with the show.
The next thing we want to do is kind of identify key components that we want to uh, break out. So obviously a header, obviously a footer, obviously some cards, uh, some animations going on here. It's a pretty simple animation, uh, but it looks really great, uh, which is why you know I want to practice uh, cloning it. Um, so there's a header. Uh, this is the default header that we get, um, but we're going to want to have, for example, um, you know, I don't know how much of this I want to <laughs> do on the first uh, first first screen, but I'm just going to have a look in between. So, so I mean, this is the unrehearsed uh, portion anyway, right? So I give myself a little leeway to um, oh, look at that. OK, so there's a site header um, class, right? So what happens if I just call that site-header? Um, and instead of this, I'll just delete it. Class name site-header. Um, and instead of, <clears throat> I guess I'll have to include it like that. OK, so in, in my header, if I include sounds like this, see what happens. Okay, I'm still developing. Uh, it's still compiling. So whoa, things are very different now. Um, so that looks good. That looks something like it. Um, so now let's uh, try and clone the probable format of what this is going to look like. Uh, I'm working with a very, very small screen. Normally, when I develop, I have uh, multiple screens, but I'm trying to screencast, so <laughs> this is all I get. <clears throat> um, let's see what it looks like here. So I have some sort of margin. Um, I kind of don't like that. Um, Who is giving me this margin? You're doing too much for me. I don't like you. Um, OK, someone's doing max width. Who's doing max, max width? That's uh, not you. Oh, <laughs> I'm so blind. Um, I should probably just remove all this stuff because I don't need it. I, I'm just very sentimental with my code, which is a very bad habit. Um, but such is life. OK. Um, and ah, all right. So, so if I have my logo on the top left, um, so I'll have logo. Then uh, on the right, I have design systems. I don't know. I don't know if I want to. Yeah, site title. Why not? Um, then logo, just for my for my note. And over here, I'll have design systems. Um, something like that, right? So All right, let's see if this is an H1. No, oh, it's a UL. OK. Um, I should probably just copy this um, format. My keyboard shortcuts are failing me right now. There we go. OK, um, so I have a, uh, I have a div. Well, uh, I have a site header, and then I have a div. Div class name equals wrapper. Um, 
and I've got and then within the wrapper I'm just gonna take this this is really distracting okay so um, actually I'm just gonna clone this whole thing why not I can do that hmm Prettier doesn't like that. All right, let's take this. Let's take this guy. Undo. Let's take this guy. Hitter inner. It's obviously the uh, logo element. Um, and let's see. That's too long for you. Okay, so it's going to be some self-closing tag thing. Uh, image tag. Keyboard shortcuts are terrible today. Ah, there we go. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. All right. That's your uh, that's your logo right there. And instead of the A tag, you replace the link tag. Um, This. So this should actually be a fairly faithful clone of um, I wasn't intending to. OK, let's see. Close the image tag, close the image tag. Oh, I have, an, I have another A tag here. Um, All right, let's see what happens. Whoa. All right. Uh, I'm not going to fix that because uh, that, th that will be you know, a, a, something that we can deal with later on. Um, but you get the sense of, of what I'm doing here. Um, I'm going to have the responsive nav. Um, and given that there are no, given that there are no, um, image tags, I hope this will go better. Um, there is a lot of um, props here. Um, oh, and then all the class names have to become, the classes have to become class names. Uh, and that's largely all you need for, uh, for cloning things. So if you look at, whoa, there we go, that's the header. Uh, things, everything's a little bit too big. I don't know why. Uh, I suggest it's, it's probably one of the other CSS files that I'm using, um, these guys. So I'm just going to nuke this. Um, and hopefully that will be better. Nope, that didn't change a thing. Um, but still, you know, it's, it's pretty close. Um, OK, so then, then we'll have the, uh, the core of this. Um, I'm not going to have time to clone all the other components, right? But um, that's the process I'm normally following for my header. Um, I just want to go ahead and do a proof of concept for doing articles and um, design systems. Let's just do design systems. OK, so the main thing we want to do um, is start using GraphQL to pull in all this, um, all this data. Um, this is something I've only done once before. Um, it was a pretty good experience, um, but it can be kind of gnarly. So um, let's figure it out together, all right? So let's install this thing. And then a new terminal. And add this guy. Transformers, robots in disguise. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm a goofball. Do, do, do. All right, so how to use. That's it. <clears throat> Parses the following fields. Um, and then how to query. Ugh. Front matter. OK. <laughs> um, I need I need more of it. I need more of a hint. That is definitely not enough. 
And it's definitely not enough. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. Site metadata. Um, oh, sneaky! Um, they forgot to tell me tell me about the source plugin. You see, incomplete documentation like that is really annoying, especially if you're a beginner. Um, like, and I've done this once before, and I forgot about this. Um, so that's. I don't know. I, I'm I'm not like complaining. I just wish that we were better about these things so that um, people don't waste so much time. But whatever. Okay. So so you have the file system, um, and that pulls in pull that that teaches Gatsby how to parse this um, files off the disk. Um, but then Gatsby needs to know um, how to parse the files. Um, so. And, and let's let's tell them, all right? We have sources and pages down in here. Um, we don't really want uh, pages, okay? Um, so then, then, okay. I, I'm not sure why this why this guide wants to do pages. This may be an outdated guide too, even though it's from 2017. Um, so we'll we'll figure it out as we go along there. Oh dear. Okay. Um, then we have the Gatsby transformer remark. Okay. All right. So we don't have it in pages. We have it in data slash. Uh, we'll we'll just call it data. Uh, so, sorry, source data slash. Design uh, systems, right? So that will go into here and look at look at all the uh, markdown files. Ah, what am I doing? Go away. Um, so yeah, for example, this guy. Okay. Um, so how do so and then and then pulling from markdown, blah blah blah, path date. Okay. Um, I don't know if this, this date format is going to work for us, um, but we'll see. Then we need to create the React template. Um, looks like we'll need a templates folder. Uh, and then call this the... Uh, uh, what am I calling it? Design system template. All right. Pull this guy in. Okay. Where is template? This prop will be injected by GraphQL. All right. I believe you. Then we write the GraphQL query. Um, which is here, bottom. Okay, and this is where we start to diverge from their uh, their intro. So let's get it just to produce one thing, right? Because um, we're we're making a lot of assumptions and we're not testing them, so uh, that can be pretty dangerous. Let's uh, let's just so, let's just show the path. I don't think I can do that. I've, I've tried doing comments in GraphQL and it did not end well. Um, let's just show the title for every uh, every every design systems. Um, and then design system container, um, design system, and helmet just changes the uh, the thing on the title on the header. Um, so this will just change the page title for us. 
Okay. Um, if the template's set up, then then this will work. But um, we need to make this work. Okay. So. <laughs> So then we need to go over to Gatsby Node.js and throw in this stuff. You see, look at this config configuration. Like someday um, we'll need to make this default behavior in Gatsby, but that day is not today. Um, so instead of source templates blog posts, we have source templates um, design systems. Design system template. I don't know why I'm repeating it. I just know that it's very annoying when I have a page for design system and then a template for design system, and I, and I don't know which I'm using. So um, this is just the benefit of experience. I have uh, tripped myself up enough that I don't want to do it again. And I'd rather type more um, than not type more. You know what I mean. Um, Okay, now we're querying for posts, and that's they want us to add this stuff. Um, yeah, okay, I can can live with all all of this, and uh, then we want to create pages. No, can be pretty annoying if, if you're just revealing your, uh, your instructions one by one. I mean, I guess I'm not reading them for the first time. So there's that, but still. Um, what is this component? Oh, OK. Um, This template over here, additional data, All right? I'm hoping we don't need to use any of that. But if we do, uh, I'll have to figure that out. OK, so uh, that was a lot of config. Uh, I um, hope this thing is not like dying on me. Um, it appears not to be dying on me. So if I go to my project, which is still alive. If I go to Clarity, um, Clarity.md is not is not reflected. Okay, so <clears throat> what do I have to do to get you to work? I got title test. Um, so maybe front matter is. No, I'm not sure. Okay. Let's make sure we got the address right. Data design dash systems. Yeah. Source data design systems name pages. What is this name? I don't like that. I have to name the source files. And what happens when I do the source files? Um, what happens when I name it like that? Mm -hmm. Sorry for all the silence. This is. Particularly gnarly, and I don't have a lot of good stuff to say. So I'm kind of just uh, looking through this quietly. 
figuring it out. Like we always do, right? Okay. So if we're resolving pages over here in our file system. One thing I don't understand is what the use of that word pages is for. Um, so that's why that's why I'm having some pause here. Uh, I don't even know if that is the cause of la 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 the cause of our issues, um, but it is a possible cause, and that's why I'm sort of investigating. Um, nope, nope, that's not it. Okay, so let's do blah, 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 Gatsby node, not then. Okay, so let me just try rerunning this because um, I don't know if it reruns properly, so it doesn't. And now it's going through that create pages function that we set up. Um, I'm not sure why it takes this long, it's probably some error. Okay. Cannot query field path on type front matter. <clears throat> why is why even is there a path? Oh. Um, so we should probably have a path, but in the absence of this. So OK, so it, it's expecting the markdown to have a field called path. And that's why it's hanging on this, on this thing. Um, well, we can't really do that. So I'm going to give it title. Um, we'll, see, we'll see what happens with that. Cannot query field path on type front matter. All right. Oh, that's probably it. I, I this could. Yeah. All right. This could probably be it. Uh, I probably have to manually click that. <clears throat> Okay, your site Gatsby Node.js must set the page path when creating a page. See documentation for create page. I guess I will. So this asks for node.frontmatter.path. What if I say title? Um, because there's no title here. Oh, something happened. All right, variable title of string was not provided. Ah, OK. Um, so my little replacement thing here doesn't work. Um, I wonder if I can just take this path and then match the title to the path. You feel about that? Now, when I go here, oh, 
Um, okay. So, someone give me a like a one ant human interface guideline. Backpack. All right. I don't know if you're case sensitive. Um, something failed. Cannot read property front matter of null. <clears throat> nope. Nope. That did not work. Oh, I have a I have an IDE. Of course. That's one of the wins of GraphQL. All right. Um, so if you haven't met GraphQL before. This is GraphQL. It's got all the paths that we, it's got all the files that we want. So you can prototype your, uh, this is graphical, and it's all the, it's all the things we want um, to, to practice, I guess. Um, the, uh, to practice the queries that, that we're going to want to do. Um, and it's self documenting, which is fantastic. Um, so, what we want is probably all markdown. And I just want to see that we're parsing this thing properly. Um, so look at this. Is that what we want? Do we want markdown remark? Well, it's definitely scanning the files. Look at all these files. So that's right. Um, let's uh, see if we can. Let's see if we can do this query. I love that I can just push this in. Oh. Okay. All right. Not too bad. So we can do this query. Um, and we're pulling it in to, uh, to generate all these pages, right? And all these pages get generated um, somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know where they are generated. So I'm just going to take a wild exploration ride. Oh, look at that. OK. So if I, if I go nachos, what do I get? Probably nothing, and that's what I'm seeing here. I, I, I'm having something of an issue with the, uh, with the template, right? Design system template, line 12. OK, so we're, we're, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Hang in there, all right? Hang in there. I can see you tw twitching. Don't press pause, because this is where shit hits the fan. Um, okay, so if we query design systems by path with a string variable, okay, so this uses query variables in GraphQL. Uh, look them up if you have not met them before. Um, they're just a way to substitute in uh, the thing. I don't even know how to. Are you supposed to? <sighs> nope. That did not work. Um, so path. Oh. Path equals um, something like that. Uh, query variables in graphical. Come on. All right. Do I need input? I guess I do. I guess I need input. Oh, I need to surround it in quotes. That's really lame, Facebook. Like, do you know anything about user interfaces? Um, right. I don't know my, my own queries. 
Um, why am I calling this design systems by path? I don't know. Can I not call it design systems by path? Okay, this pairs up with this, this pairs up with this, this pairs up with that, this pairs up with that. So I need to do a closing. All right, variable path of required string was not provided. I don't know what I'm, ah, there we go. Okay, so <laughs> we went through all of that and we essentially proved nothing that, um, I get all the front matter. Okay, okay, I can work with this. Um, <clears throat> so let's, um, let's actually get all this data, data. Um, and put that in. Um, so I think this is wrong. I think this uh, probably is uh, corresponds to the query. Otherwise, there's no point naming the query. Um, but nope. I'm not sure what this is. Data that markdown remark holds a post data. Okay, I believe you. Um, let's console log it to show. Moon arise in the morning sun. See you touch me in the pouring rain. And the moment that I wonder far from you, I want to see you in my arms again. All right, so I'm getting a null, which is worrying. And you come to me on the summer breeze. You may want in your love, then you saw believe. And it's me you need to show how deep is your love, your love, how deep is your love. I really need to burn Cause you're living in a world of fools Breaking us down And they all should let us be And they belong to you and me Dun 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 so something's not matching because I'm getting a null for my markdown remark for something that is right. Um, so I need I need it to log out <clears throat> so that I can debug it. Um, I have no idea where to debug it. <laughs> um, so. I'm gonna try to, <laughs> this is tough, this is tough. So I'm supposed to get page query from here. Do I use page query anywhere in my system? Nope, it's just right there. Um, so create page. Mm. All right. So I'm getting something here. I'm going to try and console log it out, figure out what's going on. You are the light in the deepest, darkest heart. You are my savior and I fall. You may not think I care for you, but you know down inside that I really do. Function component. Now, the component that doesn't exist. No, that's wrong. All right. That's not the way to, to do this. So what if?
Okay, so the like clearly this page query is doing something, right? Um, I just don't know what like. I have no idea. Um, debugging is fun when you're screen sharing and everyone can see you fail at life. Mm -hmm. OK, so let's try to get a 404. And let's try to. Whoop. Every JSON name of undefined. Okay. What am I supposed to do with that? <clears throat> so my problem right now is that post is null, right? Um, when I when I get to this page, design system template. La, 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 la. Um, so as, as you see here, this is an object with a null inside it. Uh, that's not good. And that's probably hmm. I need to think of ways to debug this thing. I have a very, very strong intuition that this is the issue, um, that the variable that I'm asking for, it just isn't um, what is being required. So it's the path. <coughs> what if I ask for title? <coughs> Like what determines if uh, this title is, is given? <coughs> Jesus. OK, um, I don't know the answer to this. I think path is wrong. I think path could come from here. So what if I gave it a different one? And what if I gave it the company instead? <coughs> what does it look like then? So if I gave it company instead, um, My throat is killing me. Nope, all the, uh, the, let me just make sure. Path is undefined. Okay, so some design systems don't have companies. So I need to slugify. I mean, the problem is like the match is not wrong, is not right. So let me, instead of title, how about I give it a link? Um, and then, but let me just console log this thing. So I should see a bunch of Printouts in my in my logs. Um, let's set the page. Oh, I only have title. Of course, because I only give it title. Um, what if I give it? 
no, no. Okay, I, I want to call it the title. Um, and then have create page. Let's look at the docs for create page. Okay, so. Debugging help. Okay. Let's do that. All right. So let me set it to a to at least some sort of runnable state. Um, so now it now it will run. It just doesn't build properly. It doesn't uh, render properly. So let's do this. And okay. So with an issue. Dev 404 page uh, and design. Wow, path, default site plugin. OK, so they're all called default site plugin. Oh, no. No, they're just, they're just, called, they're just called this like, weird path thing. Um, so I, I definitely need to um, trim it. Let's see what happens if I trim it. So now, when I query, um, oh, that's the same. Oh, paths are still the same. Is, is this happening at a more fundamental level than I than I'm aware of? <laughs> do, do, do. Do, 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 do. What's going on here? Why does this path have a space inside it when I've already trimmed it? Um, let's double check my JavaScript. La 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 space la 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 dot trim. Oh, JavaScript trim. I just trimmed you, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I need to remove white space. Move white space. Actually, I want to slugify. That's what I really want. So let's um, let's do let's do a proper slugify. Nice. Um, so let's actually slugify instead of doing that janky trim, because I was just trying to um, to do the trim. Okay. Um, now. What happens when I query? Oh, you have to rebuild first. OK, everything is slugified. Look at that. That's like nice um, underscore whatever. Now, when I go to design systems, I don't know. You know, this is a tricky one for sure. 
my querying on on this front end is just not matching up at all and i don't know what to do about it <coughs> let's look at this um documentation So this says, um, for each, create a, a page. Uh, let's see if we, that's what we're doing over here. For each, create a page. Using the blog post template, using that path. <coughs> I'm not using layouts, so that's good. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. All right, at what level does this? <coughs> okay, design system template.js is having this issue with post, right? And post is just markdown remark. Um, Let's console log data again. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, nope, it's just it's not transmitting. Or side's okay. Um, it's just whenever I go to Polaris, that's the issue. Uh, the GraphQL query is not querying, and that's a problem. Basically because I think I need to slugify this, and I don't have a, a way to slugify it. So the GraphQL tag, how do I debug this tag? I'm not really sure. OK, so the path variable is definitely assigned, right? So um, what can I do with that? I mean, I, I can't do much. Like, even without the slugify effect, um, and if I do no slugify, and the single word companies should get this right. <coughs> but they kind of don't. So let's do 404 page. Um, and then oh, rebuild. Um, so the single word four or four pages should get it, but they kind of don't. Um, and I don't understand why. So let's stick this in the graphical, and hopefully we'll figure out some reason. Let's help if you have a valid GraphQL query. So this is fine. It's just not. So why is this an issue at all? <coughs> da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da. <laughs> I'm sorry, this, this is probably one of the worst uh, casts I've done. 
just because this is a very, very hard, um, poorly documented thing. Uh, okay. So, but, you know, I guess that's why I'm doing this, is to show how ridiculously bad I am at this. Um, create Pages API. All right. Create pages. I have no idea. No idea why it's not matching. Like it, it really should, right? Um, but this title. <coughs> like okay, so yeah, if I call this Polaris, it will give me Polaris. So what the hell is wrong? Why is the data empty? All right, let's hope there's something here. Huh? There's probably, you know, I should have asked for help sooner. Um, <coughs> nope. That's not it. Um, keep looking. Um, what is this? Okay. Um, let's look for more uh, guide systems because I, I feel like I'm just missing something extremely fundamental and it's really bothering me. Um, I'm going to save this and then do another query where I just query all um, the data, and just everything. Um, so I expect all the data to just show up for every page. Um, oh, yeah, I can't do that. You crash? Yep, you crashed. GraphQL definitions must be named, All right? Be like that.
Oh. Okay, we have Polaris. Um, and we have just the first match. Does that make sense? I'm going to stick this into graphical and see what's going on. <laughs> okay. Oh, does that mean we only have one page? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and slugify. What happens? Build. Let's do that. Now we have canvas. I don't know how it's picking these. Um, so the slugify is working, but if I click if I click lexicon, it only returns canvas. So it's at least returning something, which is um, which is a good thing. Now I have to audit what uh, is coming into <laughs> graphical. <laughs> Uh, that's 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 what's literally causing this entire issue. <coughs> so what does this GraphQL tag expect? Um, so Promise execution result. OK, I'm going to make a mock function, essentially, where it takes whatever is given. Um, and then I'll have like dot, 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 args or something. And then I will do console.log args. And then I'll call GraphQL with those args. I just want it to crash. Like, even crashing is, is preferable to what I'm going through right now. <coughs> yeah. All right, this will, this will end badly, but at least we'll have something. No, we didn't even have anything. I needed to to yell and shout and, and do something and tell me something's going wrong. Did you not? That's terrible. <clears throat> so it's not even um it's not even calling it. This console log is not even being called, so that's uh, it's kind of the, the issue right now. OK, so GraphQL returns a, a promise, right? So um, so I'm going to mothball this, and then do that, and then go new promise. Um, New promise, resolve, reject. Um, console. Oh, I can just use this. Wow. All right. Please at least um, log out something so that I can work with you. OK. All right, I have a rejection in here. It says data, data, data is undefined. Um, 
I was not even calling the I don't know. Something's going on here. I may have been <clears throat> too optimistic on my abilities to fix this, and now we're like past an hour. Um, I don't see what's going on. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's the page query type error. <clears throat> nope. Yeah, this is this is impossible to debug. I mean, how do I know what is what is passing as path, right? Let's uh, let's scan the the blog post again. And then let's read this, because maybe it's giving us something important. Um, So what's the importance of the name? OK, maybe the name has to just directly um, copy the uh, the fall path. I'm just guessing here. I don't, if that doesn't work, I, I, I'm just lost. <clears throat> I mean, um, nope, back to the same issue. So I have every file. Um, what is all right? What is this plugin I'm using? I'm using the Gatsby Transformer remark. No, but okay. Page query. What is page query? Gatsby page query. Okay, so how do you get this slug?
is that just what whatever you call your um All right, let's call markdown remark. Uh, let's, let's look for the issue where markdown remark is always null. Okay, um, all markdown remark. All markdown remark. That's all I can get. Um, so I mean, I think, OK, so markdown remark. Here we go. I think I have something. Markdown remark, you can supply front matter as title, date, whatever. Um, Well, it seems like page query takes whatever string and then just passes it in as whatever. Um, so it looks like um, GraphQL equal Harrison operator. Let's look for EQ. Where was that GitHub thing that goes here? All right, I don't know if it's the cache. I would be highly annoyed if it is the cache. <sighs> nope, full opportunity hater.
Okay, I'm gonna just fudge a debug page. I don't know if this is this might do something for us. Um, okay. Um, so instead of post.html, we can also do uh, div div on the stringify post. All right. Um, and that really sucked. But uh, uh, that is how we're going to have to do these things until I can figure out what the hell just happened with, uh, with this. I have no idea. I don't want to waste more of your time, so I'm going to uh, call it for this. Yeah. So unfortunately, we did not have a very good start. Uh, this is indeed the um, <clears throat> this is indeed the um, unrehearsed version. So that was. Uh, the ugliness of <laughs> uh, that Gatsby uh, sometimes can get you into, especially if you have been away for a long while. Um, um, but yeah, um, we'll try again to, uh, later uh, with a hopefully better run once I figure out what the problem is, and then I will do a recorded version with everything figured out. So. See you around.